I feel like I just got a haircut and now it's already long again. Is my hair growing faster? What is that? Hey Fuzzballs, Trace here for DNews. You probably looked in the mirror many times and thought your hair was growing super fast. Or like me, your mom told you that your hair was growing faster because it was the summer. But is that true, mom? Not really. Humans are covered in hair. Not as much as our primate cousins, but pretty much every surface of the body has some kind of hair growth, save for your palms, the soles of your feet, the lips, and a few other choice spots. Hair is a function of your skin. It's got two parts, the follicle and the shaft. The follicle is inside the skin, and the shaft is the hair that you can see coming out. As our skin grows, its cells die and harden in the follicles. As more cells die, the older ones are pushed out, forming the hair shaft that you can see. Yes, I am saying that your hair is made of dead cells. Piles of dead, hard skin cells. Just ponder that for a minute. This growth process isn't subject to seasons or race or texture. Curvy, wavy, straight, whatever. All human hair grows about 0.44 millimeters per day or about 15 and a quarter centimeters per year. Each follicle has three stages, anagen, catagen, and telogen. Anagen is the growth stage. Depending on the person, this will last between two and six years. If you can't seem to get your hair to grow past a certain length, it's because you have a shorter anagen stage. Catagen is the resting stage, and around 3% of your hair is in this stage right now. And it will last two to three weeks, your hair is just hanging out. Get it? Then comes the telogen stage. This lasts about 100 days, and it's when individual hairs will fall out, which is completely normal. We lose between 60 and 100 hairs a day, every day, all the time. Now that we've established hair grows the same all year, let's backpedal from that a bit. Don't you hate it when science does that? A study in the British Journal of Dermatology says 90% of their subject's hair was in antigen stage in March, falling steadily through September. So perhaps there's more hair growth in the summer, but not necessarily faster hair growth? But when you get right down to it, all of this really only applies to the hair on your head. Eyelashes and arm hair and eyebrows, they all have shorter antigen periods, which is why they're so short. If you want the best hair, eat a good diet. It always seems to come back to that, huh? Fruits, vegetables, healthy emotional states, low stress, all of these things keep your hair healthy and growing normally. Here's some other hair myths. Cutting your hair makes it grow faster or slower. Wrong, constant rate. It just seems slower or faster because you're messing with it. Waxing makes it thinner. True, because it pulls out the hair by the follicle mid antigen stage. Now the hair has to start growing all over and it will come in thinner at the tip. Shaving your hair makes it grow in thicker. It's not really right, it's not really wrong. You're cutting it off mid antigen stage. It would kind of be like cutting the ends off three carrots. You still have three carrots, they just look fatter. Thanks for tuning in to DNews today. Do you have another myth we should tackle? Tell us in the comments or tweet at us at DNews. I'm Trace and remember, hair, it grows on you.